Good morning guys, welcome to Life with Lena and if you guys are new here, please click that red subscribe button down below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Yes guys, don't you like my super wrinkly shirt right now? It says burgers and fries, it's a cute shirt. <laughs> and I'm wearing harem black pants. We just showered guys, so I just threw some clothes on because I need to go to the post office but I really don't like this giant wrinkle right here. Whatever though, I'm not, I don't really care. I don't like it, but I don't care enough to change either. So <laughs> we are just gonna brush my hair, get ready and go to the post office and drop off some packages. I had this whole entire plan for my day today and I was like, oh, well, I think today I'm gonna go to my sister's house. We're gonna bake a cake. Oh my gosh, I have freaking dry scalp. Oh my God, I got all this dry scalp. Uh, I don't know why, but I get dry scalp kind of often. And then I just see like these little pieces of stuff that looks like dandruff in my hair and it's really annoying. How does one get dry scalp? How does it dry, s oh man, my towel fell. Ah, stay up there and dry. How does dry scalp form, guys? I don't know, how does that happen? Do I need to like start moisturizing my scalp or something? I don't really know. I don't even like shower that much to dry out my scalp, so I don't know how this happens. But if you guys know, please let me know in the comment section. Also, if you guys have like hard to brush hair or like hair that gets very knotty, especially at the ends, like I do, like it doesn't even hurt when I do it. It like, I don't know, I got a detangling brush. It's like a detangling brush and somehow it works so well, I feel like. I don't know, it go, just like gets out any knots and things like that and like it doesn't hurt when I brush my hair or anything like that. Normally if I'm in like chlorinated water or something, then um, after I shower I'll put in like that spray. You guys know I love that it's a 10 spray. I will link that down below. It's like a leave-in conditioner spray, but I haven't been using it lately because I don't need to because my detangling brush, it's just, just, it's just so awesome. I will also link this down below. It's a detangling brush. And if you guys have never used one before, it's a life changer. I am telling you guys, I was using like a Numi hairbrush before and I, I loved it because it was like big. Um, I'll show you guys. It has like a big top and I, I really like this one as well. But this only works well if you have like fresh cut hair where your ends are like not getting knotty and stuff. But if you're letting like your hair grow out, obviously your ends start getting knotty or maybe if they're damaged, split ends and stuff, then the detangling brush is seriously a lifesaver. I will have everything link linked down below if you guys want it. And no, they're not sponsoring me. I just, I was just happened to be brushing my hair and I just thought I would share with you guys that I love that product. But I wish they would sponsor me. I would love to see what other products they have, but I has no monies to go get anything else. So I'm just letting you guys know because I really like that product and I've been using it for a few years now. I actually have two of those detangling brushes because I have one in my travel bag as well. That's how much I love it. I'm going to spritz some rose water on my face. It just feels so nice and refreshing. And then I'm just going to put on a little bit of bio oil on my face. It looks like I have dry skin too. So maybe it's not dry scalp. Maybe it's just dry skin from my face going into my hair. I don't know. But we just got a whole bunch of dryness going on today. I'm actually run, running low on my bio oil. I always use this on my face. I love it so, so, so much. It helps with like dark spots and everything too. This is probably like the third one that I have. I had three at one point. One of them in my travel bag, one of them out here, and then I don't know what I had the third one for, but I know I had three. And then I used up all of the one that I had for myself and I took one out of my travel bag So now my travel bag doesn't have one and this is that one and now this one's running low, too So now I need to go pretty much go buy two new ones I'm gonna check Target to see if maybe they're on sale because they do go on sale sometimes and otherwise They're really pricey if you don't get them on sale. It's like $24. I don't know for sure I might totally be wrong, but I know they are expensive so do not get it at a drugstore, even pricier at a drugstore than it is at like Target. Did I just get oil on myself? Freaking hell. Oh my god, this morning is a mess already today. Now we got this lovely mess of a shirt. What am I supposed to do with that? I'm just gonna have some breakfast, guys. I heated up a breakfast burrito bowl. Not a breakfast, a burrito bowl. 
bowl of breakfast to burrito. Right here, it's wrapped in paper towel right now because that's what you do when you heat up these frozen burritos so that they stay nice and, um, you know, so the tortilla doesn't get hard. And I freaking love these burritos so much. Andre really liked it too. So I'm happy he liked it. And at first he was like, oh, I don't want it. It's gonna be too filling. And then he tried it, he was like, oh, this is actually not that bad. Like, it's like a perfect amount. It isn't, it doesn't like make it feel disgustingly full. I think it's like the perfect to go thing um, in the morning if you guys don't normally eat breakfast or if you guys like to have a light breakfast. Like it's not that heavy at all. All right, so we're gonna enjoy my nice burrito for breakfast. Okay guys, it is gonna be time to go to the post office. I sat, I relaxed, I conquered. Okay, time to go to the post office and then back here. And I was supposed to bake today. I was gonna bake, I was gonna, you know, make some spiralizer, zucchini noodles, or zoodles, whatever you wanna call them. But now I just wanna make more new stuff. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should still stop by the grocery store since I'm already going to be outside. You know what? Maybe I should. Let me go back upstairs and find a recipe I want to make and just go to the grocery store. Carolina, you need to go to the grocery store. Okay. Alright guys, so I need to make a quick grocery list. Okay guys, we're going to go to the grocery store. I have like a whole bunch of recipes that I printed out that I want to make. And I definitely can't make everything. I have like chocolate chip cookies, chai spiced um, cupcakes, macarons I want to make. So we have a whole bunch and then the zucchini zoodles I guess. I want to make all of that, but we're not going to make all that today because that would just be crazy. And I, you know, I, who, am, who am I feeding? I'm not feeding a whole family, I'm just feeding myself. So can't really make it all because I won't finish it all. But I was thinking um, maybe instead of making zoodles today, I'll still get the ingredients. And maybe instead of making that because, you know, I think there's still like dinner in the fridge right now. So I, would, I could still get the ingredients and make that in a couple of days. And then today I want to test out my soap pat that I got for my birthday and try to make macarons. So I am going to... I think I'll try to make that and then maybe I'll make some chai spiced cupcakes as well because that just sounds really really good and um you know we need some cupcakes for my sister's birthday tomorrow so also guys wish her a happy birthday in the comment section down below I will tell my sister to check out the comments so if you guys are sending birthday wishes for her for tomorrow which by the time you guys see this it's already today um her birthday is on September 2nd so make sure you guys leave birthday wishes for my sister Guess what guys, guess freaking what. I feel like I can never get a break to be honest. Like this year has been the worst year ever. Look guys, look what lit up my check engine light again. Isn't that just so wonderful guys? Obviously I'm being sarcastic right now. We just got to the grocery store, about to walk in, get a couple of groceries, like five zucchinis, confectioner sugar, and I think that's all I need, <laughs> really. <laughs> oh my god. Okay guys, update and a question. So my update is that I just stopped by the mechanic. The same code for the check engine light is back on that was happening like a month ago and the month before that. So that same code is back on. Um, the mechanic just cleared it and told me to keep an eye on it to see how long it's gonna take to come back on again. Um, Cause it took like a month to come back on. Um, so that's number one. And number two, I want to ask how expensive are zucchinis where you live and when are zucchinis in season? Because I literally just paid $7.42 for five zucchinis. They were $1.99 a pound. And these were like small zucchinis, okay? They were $1.99 a pound. So let me know how expensive they are, what you are, and is it are they in season? Are they out of season? Is that why they're expensive? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys know.
All right guys, so my cupcakes are done baking. I'm just trying to get this to room temperature so I can make the frosting while these cool down and stuff. So we are gonna do the Parmesan zucchini noodles pasta recipe. Got my recipe right here. Got my spiralizer, so this is what I got with my credit the other day. It's the Good Grips um, OXO Hand Health Spiralizer. I didn't get like a fancy one because to be honest, I don't know how often I'm gonna be using this, so I didn't get like the actual big one where you know it does it pretty much for you and you just roll so i got like a handheld one heard great things about it amazon had great reviews but here i am today testing it for you guys all right so let's open this guy up but there's also one that has like different attachments and i didn't feel like i needed that i guess and i'm guessing i just put the thing in here and then i just twist this just is that how that works i'm not really sure do i just like press it down and is it doing anything that is not doing anything oh i think maybe i put it in here <laughs> okay figuring out how to use this thing of a bobby i don't know Woo! aha so it's coming out of there oh we got zoodles guys look at this it might be here a while spiralizing, but I'm getting a nice arm workout right now. What? <laughs> Guys, what does this look like? <laughs> okay, let me stop having a dirty mind. Let's just, let's continue with this. Oh my God, that is so funny. <laughs> oh my God, I'm dying. <laughs> okay guys, I don't know if I should say it or not <laughs> of what I think that looks like, but uh, I guess I'm not gonna say it, but feel free to comment down below what you guys think I'm thinking. Guys, kitchen thing ate my nail. You guys see that nice tip of my nail? Yep. Make sure you don't get your nail in that blade. It's rather sharp. long oh my god this is so long holy moly this is one continuous one what that is crazy that actually didn't take that long guys i used one giant zucchini and two like smaller ones i well basically i used like two and a half pounds of zucchini so it didn't take that long probably took me like i don't know i don't even know if it took me a whole 10 minutes or not i don't think i did but um i got a nice arm workout I gotta figure out how to do that with a left hand. I'm not a lefty at all, but next time we gotta get some left hand muscles over here instead of just right hand muscles. But now we're gonna make like a skillet with some olive oil and garlic and stuff. And then we're gonna throw these zucchini noodles in there and we're making a whole meal out of it. Hey guys, just finished making this. I gotta say, it tastes rather pretty good. Like, I actually really like this. Um, I think I might start making this more often. It was nice, easy, it's healthy, because it's not pasta, it's zoodles. So, look at all that colorful goodness in there. Got myself a bowl of zoodles. I gotta say, when I was making this, I thought this made so much, but really, like, I'm putting in a little bit in my bowl because I just gave this portion of the size to my dad as well, and then there's only, like, one more left for my mom to try that same portion. Um, so, the zucchini went down a lot. <laughs> It's a lot smaller than it started off with. But my dad tried it and he said he really likes it. So I'm really happy about that. 
and I really like it too. I think it tastes so good. And I was gonna invite Andre over for dinner, but I don't think he's gonna come and I don't really have more. Okay guys, my food was really freaking delicious. I will share the recipe with you guys down below. I will also link the spiralizer that I have. It was $15 at Sur La Table, but like I said, I was using my credit. Um, so it's $15 at Sur La Table. It might be cheaper on Amazon, actually. Anyway, I will link the Amazon one down below. Same brand and everything, just, you know, available on Amazon. I could definitely see myself using that spiralizer a lot more often. Um, now I'm just gonna make the frosting for my uh, cuppy cakes going on over here. Gonna make some frosting and we're gonna frost my cupcakes. I will also link this chai spiced cupcakes recipe down below. Got a little bit of leftovers. This will literally be just like one lunch meal maybe for tomorrow or something. I don't know, but that will be just one more little meal. I really thought it made more, but it didn't. I totally used my spiralizer wrong. I just noticed the top lid has these little things and that's supposed to hold, I guess, the vegetable in place as you're spiralizing it. Um, and then you just hold this so it's easier to hold on to and twist so I totally did it wrong But either way even with me doing it wrong. I still loved it I'm trying to figure out how to make three different color frosting So I have three different ones on saran wrap. We're gonna wrap it up and then put it in a piping bag um, I actually after I did this I should have put the middle one purple, but I can't change it now So it's just like a turquoisey pretty blue color white and pink and I'm gonna make a rose on top of these cookie cakes. trying that trick with the saran wrap and I layered the three different colors on the saran wrap like you guys saw and I think the saran wrap got stuck or something and my white wasn't coming out um, so then it wasn't coming out evenly and it wasn't coming out of all of like the tips but and then I FaceTime my sister to tell her they weren't coming out and then they started coming out a little bit better so we got some rose looking ones and then I went over these <laughs> With some more frosting so these have like an extreme amount of frosting but whatever and that one just didn't get a chance to get uh remade and one plain one because my dad doesn't like frosting but i think they came out so pretty so nice and pastel -y. let me know what you guys think now this recipe made 16 cupcakes so i feel like i could i could try one let me try like an uglier one i guess that would be this one in the middle not the prettiest i didn't get to go over this one with the more frosting and I mean, the ones with more frosting could use less frosting, but somebody could always scrape those off. All right guys, here's my cupcake taste test. That actually tastes really good. This would be perfect with like a cup of tea, even though this is already a chai tea cupcake, like it's amazing. I may have overcooked it a little bit, but like I just didn't think it was ready when I poked it with like a toothpick, it didn't look ready. But now the tops are a little crunchy. I don't know, but the taste is really good. This is getting added into my recipe binder as well as the um, Parmesan zucchini noodles that I made before. That's also getting added to my recipe binder. Those are some good ass cupcakes. Kuba, did you make a mess in the bathroom? Did you make a mess in the bathroom? Guys, I gotta show you what the bathroom looks like. <laughs> looks like Kuba the tornado hit the bathroom. Like all the rugs are in different uh, places and stuff. The towel is off of the side of the bathtub. Did you do this? Did you do this? Did you make a mess right here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what, what? Yeah, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I'm gonna put everything back and try to reorganize everything. I love when tornado, Cuba the tornado goes through. <laughs> oh, that's not a crazy mess this time. You didn't do anything. <laughs> it was just funny. So guys, I think I was originally gonna do nothing for the rest of my day, but I was just watching Jennifer McGuire Inc. on YouTube and her videos and I was just inspired to go make some cards. So we're gonna go make some cards. So I got my Sizzix machine here. What I think I'm gonna do is try to use this um, die. It just says Merry Christmas. And we're gonna try to make a four by six card. It's just that this is kind of 
not so rectangle so I don't know how we're gonna do that yet and it does not fit in a three and a half by five card so I don't really know and this might be a lot of work to actually just get rid of all the pieces so I don't know how we're gonna do this yet but I need to see how many I could fit on a page. On another note, guys, Andre is currently um, at the like emergency medical place because he was shaving his head and cut himself on the back. Well, why is my nose red? Oh my god, that is a huge ass pimple. <gasps> wow, that is ugly. Anyway, so Andre cut himself and then he was bleeding, as you guys can see. Oh, that's my cupcakes, and he's a. Uh, He's not bleeding, so he has to go get stitches. So that's what has been happening with Andre. Did you guess stitches? No, I didn't get stitches, but I really did scalp myself. You lied to me? Yeah, of course. It's a good story. <gasps> Dada, he nice. told me he's getting stitches. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe Andre showed up. That was a total surprise. But I'm so happy that he's no. here. No. I'm so happy you're here, no. babe. Thanks. I'm happy to be here. I don't want to touch your head. Don't, you, it's you, still kind of wet. You tricked me, like, with the thing. Let me see it. Well, oh, I, figured, I took a picture baby. of it because I figured I could use it. Baby, that looks <laughs> that looks bad. It, it's still, it was um, bad. It was really bad. It's still, like, bleeding. Well, I'm feeding Andre some of that food I made earlier. Let me know how you like it. Let me know how you like it. It smells very good. Is it hot? Mm-hmm. It's perfect. You like it? It tastes good? Yeah? Mm-hmm. So, Andre loves his dinner. For sure. Yeah, so it ranked number four. The Number one is pumpkin coconut curry. Number two is pumpkin spinach quinoa. Number three is pumpkin. Why is number everything up to number three? Everything is pumpkin. Because <laughs> it happened to be really good. Uh, and then this is number four. But pumpkin stuff. Yeah, I love pumpkin. Oh, this is good. You like what it? Do you do? It's a chai. So there's a cardamom, cinnamon, I definitely taste ginger, that. and uh, cloves in there. I really like it too. I feel like it'd be perfect with like a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, right? Mm -hmm. It'd be so good. So I made this card. Um, I like the outline and I was originally thinking of just making this as a card and then you know you fold it open it's card but this is like a weird size so this is a 4 by 6 thing. It would have to go in a 4 by 6 envelope. So then I tried to make like a green background, but I don't love that either. I don't know what to do to these like top pieces to keep this card in the middle. Or maybe I should just keep the card this small and still put it in a 4 by 6 envelope. It's just then that the envelope looks a little big and then the card literally is like that small. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys would do or what I should do because I don't know what to do with this. So I just made this card with a gold embossing on the coffee cup. I think it looks so cute. It says, how, how have you been? I put some beans as a border. There's a coffee cup. And then the inside also just has like the off-white color for writing. And I think it's so cute. It's like a flip top kind of card. guys so i finished making those two other cards i still can't figure out that christmas one so if you guys have any ideas please let me know in the comment section down below and we are getting ready to go to betty's i mean these two are already in bed <laughs> he's putting his teeth thing in and this guy is all cuddled up with him already he was so happy to see andre like he always is you're always so happy to see andre we know so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click that red subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's next daily vlog. Bye.